Well, tonight, the state of North Carolina is mourning former U.S. Senator Kay Hagan. She served from 2008 to 2014 after beating Republican Elizabeth Dole. She lost re-election to current North Carolina Senator Tom Tillis. During her time on Capitol Hill, Senator Hagan was a champion of the Affordable Care Act mm -hmm. and helped release documents tied to water contamination at Camp Lejeune. In 2016, she came down with a tick-borne illness that caused brain inflammation and made it hard for her to walk and talk. Our below Neil is live in Greensboro. He spoke to lawmakers today, now offering their condolences. Bill. Yeah, Kay Hagan came from a political family. Her uncle was Lawton Childs, the former governor and senator from Florida. But she would go on to have an amazing political career of her own, one that spanned nearly two decades. After 10 years in the North Carolina Senate, Hagan became a U.S. Senator, part of the blue wave led by President Obama. WXII 12 News interviewed Ms. Hagan numerous times over the years. We caught up with her in January of 2014 as she prepared to run for re-election. You know, the people in North Carolina are not looking at November. They are looking at what affects them right now, and it is jobs and the economy. And I've got a job to do. I head to Washington, back to Washington next week. That's what my focus is. Hagan would go on to lose a close race to Tom Tillis. The following year, she hired a Greensboro man named Dave Wills as her personal assistant. I remember actually I was at her house working out of her office and I heard her take a phone call from John Podesta <laughs> during, the, uh, during the Hillary Clinton campaign and I was just like, well, what am I doing here? <laughs> you know, it was a really interesting experience to kind of hear those names kind of be dropped. Wills, who launched his own political career not long after, says Hagan was a mentor to him. I remember she called me shortly after the 2016 election. It's the last uh, conversation we had before she got sick, actually. And she said, when are you going to run? Just let me know I'm in your corner. And only two weeks later, she uh, ended up coming down with uh, encephalitis, which had caused the swelling of her brain. So that was unfortunately the last conversation I had, but it was a good one. Dave Will says that Hagan had a huge impact on young people. He says he's amazed by the number of tributes on social media today written by people in their 20s and 30s. He says that they believed in her, and she believed in them. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News. All right, Bill, thank you so much. Kay Hagan was just the second woman and first female Democrat from North Carolina elected to the U.S. Senate. And politicians from both parties are fondly remembering Senator Hagan, including one of her biggest former rivals. Tom Tillis, who narrowly defeated Hagan in 2014, tweeted that he and his wife are heartbroken, adding, we join all North Carolinians in remembering her dedicated and distinguished record of public service to our state and nation. North Carolina's senior senator, Republican Richard Burr, writes, In our time as Senate colleagues, we worked across the aisle together frequently on issues that we both knew would determine what type of country our children would inherit, from conservation to our common defense. Governor Roy Cooper writes that he had known Hagan since their days in the state legislature and that she made it a mission to inspire young people, especially young girls, to enter public service. And she served as a role model for so many. North Carolina is mourning one of our best today. Presidential candidate Joe Biden said how thankful he was that he got to see her and her husband just yesterday in Durham. He talked about her dignity and character, adding her political courage helped pull our country out of recession and make life better for millions of her fellow Americans. As a proud member of a military family herself, our service members could always count on Kay Hagan to have their back. Reporting in the newsroom, Brandon Bates, Kenny Brianna will send things back to you. All right, thank you, Brandon. To see what other lawmakers are saying about Hagan's life and her legacy and to learn more about her time in office at WXII12.com.